hey angel welcome back to the channel <laughs> i'm glad to be back recording i haven't recorded in forever i know i just posted a youtube video um yesterday of my birthday trip finally i was so busy i was going back home i was gonna say traveling but it was really just going back home and being there for a little bit and what else happened oh i guess like my birthday trip so i guess traveling i'm back <laughs> but yeah let's start with this get ready with me i was gonna do an un get ready with me but i really wanted the lighting to hit in this um video because we're gonna be talking about a lot okay we have so much on the docket of course by the title y'all know we're gonna talk be talking about love island and a few other things that just come up to be honest like i just want to talk to y'all let's get right into it i'm just gonna be doing my makeup so it's that type of get ready with me let's start with love island this season has been madness this season has been the best season at least for me i know there's og like love island uk people that are like oh they be like comparing oh no this season's the best this season's the best and usually it's like the original seasons are more you know because it was more crazy back then this season has been eating like crazy like it's been drama every single time and i'm so shocked because Honestly, I thought Love Island would not come back from this because last season was really bad. It was bad. Like, I watched it, but I was, I remember being so bored, like, in some episodes. I'm like, it was, it was, it was actually so depressing. Like, I mean, we got a couple of people from it. We have, what, Tanya and Shaq. That's basically it. I don't remember anybody else. Like, it's all a blur. But this season, I'm using my mirror tray because it's the biggest mirror i have right now i just watched the newest episode so i'm all caught up and so far andre's out george is out um charlotte is out and ruchi's out and i think that's it i think that's for all the four people that I left already episode 20 hands down actually let me put this down that was the best episode i know we just had molly's kicking out situation like she got kicked out from the villa that was a shocker that was a shocker but we're gonna go more into that when we get to mom first couple let's start with katherine and scott okay katherine and scott like i don't know i don't know i don't know if it's giving anything i see i'm never gonna do my makeup it's really hard to know what scott's intentions are because i don't know if i'm not seeing enough but i don't know it was just kind of weird how he i thought he would have chose leah that's just me but scott and Catherine's relationship like relationship i'm definitely rooting for it i'm rooting for it because for one she hasn't had many options i feel like and i feel like she actually likes scott i feel like she actually likes him <laughs> but scott does not like Catherine as much as Catherine likes scott because on twitter i see people like oh my gosh why can't the black girls ever have like why can't people be rooting for the black girls basically in their relationship and it's like i will always root for my sisters like i will always root for them but i also know when something is just not it like i don't know scott could prove me wrong they they show different pictures and stuff of their affection and it's like oh okay like it's like you know but maybe maybe it's just maybe it's just us y'all they need to, the producers need to show me a little more before i'm like okay i can trust scott you know because the jump from leah to it just didn't make sense i'm pretty sure people in the villa know that like they're like mm, scott's playing a bit of a game he's playing a bit of a game please somebody send something for Kathy. she is a bad d okay like they just need more and then and then they bring Mont Mon what's her name what's his name and then it's like i thought montreal what's his name i'm not even trying to be funny like montreal i think that's his name i thought i'm not mad that they didn't like you know click but he's really weird around mm. did y'all see that really weird conversation between montreal and whitney like i'm sorry can he not talk to black girls or something i feel like he's one of them that conversation pissed me off i was like can you not talk he's like As, no, I, I 
I promise, like, and even, even, it's, it, it was, it's a been a Like, <laughs> no, he was actually malfunctioning. I was like, ah, what is all this? The way he could not even talk to Whitney. His confessional, he was like, and I didn't even know what to say because you can't, you can't go from being friends and then, and then all of a sudden you can't, and then you just start flirting. Can you not flirt? And it's like, even if you don't want to flirt with her, you could just say that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know much of Scott's personality for real. Like, I don't know if he's faking or who he actually, I think Scott's playing a game. He knew how people loved Catherine online. Like these people are in here for a game, you know? So if we talk in like, who's good for Catherine and Scott, I don't know way he just randomly went and kissed her and did all of that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It could be how they showing it to us, but whatever. Let's move on. Whitney and Medi. First of all, I love Whitney. Like, Whitney grew on me so much. Whitney and Medi are something else. Like, I know, I mean, Mitch couldn't have said it better himself during that recoupling. Like, they all know why Whitney and Medi are in there together and it's really because they have no choice. <laughs> I don't know. Cause Whitney's starting to actually like Medi. Medi doesn't like Whitney because of his little like microaggression. And so when I see that, I'm just like, mm. Whitney is everything. Whitney is everything for the show. Like I'm so excited for Whitney when she comes out because I know that she will thrive. Her, she just like, she makes the show. Like honestly, like she makes the show. And you can tell like people love her. Like she's just so herself. <laughs> I wish that she actually had someone that she could actually go with. I wish she had that option because I want to see that side of Whitney. I feel like right now she's in there. Okay, like she's with Medi, but she's, <laughs> And I know it's like she's starting to like Medi, but I know it's gonna be way different from her in like a different relationship. Let's be for real, Medi is not her type. Like, let's just be honest, Medi is not her type. Whitney is not Medi's type. But it'll be interesting to see, like, what if they actually start, I don't know, differences of track, I don't know. And it's going so much longer than I expected to. Like, they're really just floating because y'all are like the most vulnerable. I mean, they're strong just because they're together and they're each other's safe person all i'm saying is medi needs to go before whitney does if Me if whitney goes before medi does then i'm not watching the show it's like now nah, i'm gonna watch it but <laughs> well, let's go to ella and tyreek like uh-huh <laughs> what um excuse me no because like did they actually do side checks for this show because no, because Tyreek is the type of guy that will make you go insane. Steer clear of men like Tyreek, cause it's just, it's not even funny. It's not, it's funny, but it's not. I'm like, are you doing this for the show or are you actually like this? But I think he's actually like this. Like the way he's able to, no, because who said it? Somebody on the show was like, Tyreek just be smiling and doing stuff and gets away with it. And I'm just like, yes. Yes, but that was so funny. He said, I'm gonna give you 48 hours. 48 hours to get to know uh, this person. And then after that, you ain't got like, you, and, and imagine, he said that right after, um, imagine. He said that right after, what had happened before where he had that option? What's that called? Oh, it was with Leah. It was with Leah. Can you imagine? I'm like, you are actually not a, you're actually not a real person. There was a time, literally last week, <laughs> there was a time where I thought he was growing. Like he was growing on me. I was like, wow, okay, okay. Like, cause he was definitely giving red flags in the beginning. Like, let's be honest. We were like, nah, this one, this one, yeah. We, they, people were already adding him to the Destiny Childish um meme that they have, like, Cause you could just tell. Imagine a whole Molly went home. Yes, Molly went home. We gonna get to that. Molly went home because literally Katie, that's her name, had an option, and it could have been anybody. That was a shocker. 
let's like that was a shocker i was so shook i honestly thought ella was gonna go home i was gonna be so upset tyreek is like on russian roulette right now like i just don't know what to expect from him and i think tyreek is also playing a game as well and here's why the way he picks arguments with ella is just so side eye it's side eye she doesn't want to have an argument and but she, but he'll keep like nudging and so i was so i was sitting here i'm like does he have like some type of like argument king the girl's not mad but she came up to her and was like basically like oh why are you not upset <laughs> like i'm like no he lives for this tyreek is here for the drama and that's it tyreek is here for tyreek literally and it's like this is my final straw like i just i actually want ella like i actually need ella to start making her next move quick because tyreek is going to embarrass her tyreek is going to embarrass ella and it's gonna be hard to watch when molly left and ella was like going up to him like that could have easily been me like do you see that your actions have con actions have consequences basically he was just upset that he didn't get picked and so i saw, I saw something on twitter i saw something on twitter and someone was like Tyreek is just literally fueled by the girls that he can get. Like, he wanted that to be him so bad. The fact that Katie had picked Zach, he wanted that to be him so bad. But it just didn't happen for him. Like, and he's upset. He's upset. He didn't get his shine. He wants to be that guy. And he's going to do the most to be that guy. And it's going to get him kicked out. I hope it does. I hope his actions does not have like i hope no one gets affected by his actions tyreek needs to learn his lesson somewhere he's gonna get it soon like he's gonna get it soon ella oh my gosh please run for the hills i need a moment where tyreek is just sweating for his life like i need a moment where tyreek is just fighting her for his life because ella actually has someone in there that she can get to know and like therefore it's like that's threatening his position i need i need that to happen because he's really just in there and just having his cake and eating it too and i'm like god for a bit oh my gosh because that was crazy it really it really could have been ella the way the, um molly left i'm like wow it can say like it was it was it was too close Ooh, i look ridiculous trust the process y'all just the process who else like oh uh, jess and jess and who at this point jess and who because it ain't mitchell let me just talk let me just talk about mitchell individually like i almost feel bad for mitchell and i'm not even just i'm not, I'm not even gonna like try to add to the to the to the comments i'm no because it was at a point where mitchell would talk and i'm just like <laughs> I'm just like somebody call 911. Somebody call 911. Somebody call 911. Like my eyes were this big because I was just so creeped out. It almost made me feel so bad for him. The way he acts and like the way he begs, and it's like I just need him to leave because I feel like the way he's been shown on TV, he don't even know. But it's like I, I don't know. Someone's out there for Mitch. There's someone out there for Mitch. I was watching After Sun. Um, I don't usually watch After Sun. I'm gonna start watching it, but um, and get used out of this VPN. The fuck. But I started watching After Sun, and then Maya was like, "There's somebody definitely out there for Mitch," and I was like, "Yes, there is. There has to be. Please, somebody, please." <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Social clues just not his best suit. Like he just doesn't get it. Y'all remember that weird conversation he had with um. Who did he have with, oh, with Ella and them after the um, Never Have I Ever. And it was funny too because when when the whole cheater thing came up and Zach was like, oh yeah, like I've cheated or whatever, you they showed Mitchell's reaction and he was he was one of the first people to be like, he was gassing it. Never have I ever cheated. Obviously, it's not a flex. It's definitely been a couple times. <gasps> Zach! Not the man I thought you were. I feel like I was very young at the time. He switches a lot, and it's so weird. I don't know. I find it really creepy. 
I don't know. I'm gonna just keep saying I don't know because Lord have mercy, Mitch is scaring me. Let somebody call 911. He's also one of those people that's just been in there for too long. I'm sorry, like no one's coming for you, like for him. No one's in there is inter really interested in him. He's just there. He's him and Jess. That's that's where we left off. I'm all over the place, but y'all, it's because the show's all over the place. Like him and Jess are just they're just there they're almost trying to do a whitney and Medi at this point because they know like you know I, honestly i think molly was mitch's first bad bitch because the way he acted it just put him off off of everybody else and it's sad to watch like it's sad to watch him go down and it's like the people that are watching at home let's say it's like a bombshell that needs to come to i love um i love <laughs> i love and <laughs> that needs to come to love island they're watching that and so automatically they have this pre something in their heads and this is like you you come off weird you know i don't know i don't know that's what I, I i'm judging to be quite fair and um i love their bond i love the bond between like whitney jess ella catherine and it was like ruchi for a little bit too before she left like i just love their bond i love jess like she just, like seems so down to earth i kind of feel like she did too much with the whole situation with Sammy. Y'all don't think so? Like, I feel like she did a little too much. I don't know, I was like, are we missing something? I don't know. I think she does give off like a very empathetic person and she's really much a girl's girl. And so, yeah, like I, I just think she just doesn't take any BS, I guess, is what that that is. She felt like Sammy wasn't being transparent with her. And honestly, he wasn't, he wasn't like he's basically gaslighting her he wasn't sammy does not like jess i mean so he says on tv we all know you don't like jess like you just you're just managing her oh wow and that twist with the whole you can't recouple with the person i'm like hold on love island like y'all are really y'all are really twisting things up they can't recouple and so now i feel like just kind of regrets that whole argument she had with um, Sammy. And then on top of that, it was just all bad timing. And so now they can't even get back together. And it's like, I feel like Sammy kind of regrets it too, because I don't think he's that into the person he's with now, which is, what's what's girl's name? With, what's her name? I don't know her name. She's the girl, the new um, bombshell that came in, did she come up with somebody? No, she came alone. Uh, Mal, they call her Mal. I don't know what her full name is. Mal, okay. Okay, Mal. Mm, Mal is cute, like she's very goofy. Um, you know, I just need to see more of her personality for real, like because what they're showing right now is like, girl what are you doing but yeah i don't think sammy is really that much into her either anywho are those our only couples so it was we talked about all of them i'm missing somebody i don't got much to say about george i mean he wasn't even there for that long like i don't know and then some stuff was coming out about like him and his family being racist and all this stuff i'm like oh, of course i don't know george wasn't even that much interesting like he was gonna go home one way or another but anywho, oh my gosh, and do we have to go talk about Andre? Yeah, we gotta talk about Andre. So I finished the episode with the um, heart race challenge and everything. And oh my gosh, my mouth was on the floor the whole episode, y'all. Like, this was one of my favorite episodes. Tyreek is so funny. I'm so, like the way he was looking at everybody i'm like oh my god ella just needs to run because he's not gonna get right oh mal let me stop let me stop being too nice what was that and i think it was a little worse than what we saw because the way they didn't even show her dance with any of the guys i'm just gonna read a few tweets my favorite thing about love island days or whatever is going back to see what y'all say on twitter because Y'all, first of all, it's so relatable because we're all thinking the same thing. And then two, it's so, y'all are hilarious on that app. Oh my goodness. Y'all hilarious and mean. Yeah. So, best fine girl. 
I'll add the tweet over here. She said, Tyreek hard resets to factory settings every time someone comes within 10 feet of Ella. Like, yes. You can tell. It's like, it's so hard to tell with Tyreek. It's like, you know you like this girl, but I think he likes the chase. Like, he's, he's very much a thrill type of person. I just, I honestly don't think Tyreek is ready for a relationship. And he's honest he's basically said it like he's basically admitted it i don't think he's ready for a relationship i think he's just not mature enough and i know like his what y'all like to call it like his riz i see it i see it we all see it but it takes a certain level of maturity to realize that it's just not cute Ooh, Mehdi is racist and i'm sticking by that beat me if you disagree xx i have also seen the microaggressions for sure like and i'm pretty sure he's probably said some crazier stuff that we have not even seen because the way he always references um whitney's speech is annoying if we're gonna talk about speech like we could easily come for your accent too like you're french this is a uk show what are you doing here like when he was talking to leah he was like i like the way you speak it's like if you want someone to be all professional and everything Go, go find that. Don't use Whitney to do that and then whenever you're mad, start talking about her like in these slight ways. Like I peeped it, we've all peeped it. Like it's so easy to say that you are racist because we've seen similar microaggressions in other places that looks really similar to that. Meanwhile, like you're stereotypically that you are, you are that, you could be racist. What they say, he French and Arab, like, oh my gosh, that's like double homicide. I don't know. But then it's so weird because then they have these moments where they really vibe. Like, especially when Whitney cracks a joke or something that makes him laugh, like he will crack up, no joke. He will fall over the floor, like Whitney cracks him up. But get him mad or when he wants to start picking fights to cause drama and make his storyline interesting out of nowhere, even though it will never happen, fetch will never happen, Mehdi, like go home. There is just no strong couple. But I wish everyone India's success I wish that on all the black people plus more like i wish that on all the black girls because we need more of them out here doing their thing and just like you know doing their thing from these shows like they need to be able to get all these opportunities too so i don't know i feel like they've done the work their personality shows Catherine, i need to, i need Catherine to show us a little bit more like show us i don't know i feel like there's more to Catherine. there's probably more that we don't know because they're just not showing us but yeah i i hope Catherine dresses better i hope <laughs> not i hope she dresses better but for real like what was she wearing like that white blazer or whatever i don't know i don't know and i wish she wouldn't put her hair in a ponytail either but that's a whole different conversation let me know what y'all think of love island uk right now it's it's one of the best seasons it's one of my best seasons <music>